and welcome to the Cinema 4D Quick Tips. In this video I want to show you everything you need to know in order to get started with scene notes. The easiest way to work with scene notes is to adjust the layout here to be the notes layout. And here you go, here you can see the notes editor and there's also the objects manager, the attributes manager, the viewport and a few other managers. And if you cannot see this window by default you just have to click this little button which will open the scene notes editor here. Now in the empty scene notes editor there is just one entry here on the output side which is the scene output. So you need to connect something to this output in order to add it to the scene. And the important thing to know here is that the scene output only accepts a connection coming from the operator stream or op stream. So let's go to the operators here and let's just create a primitive op and connect it to the scene. Whenever there is an op input and op output, this is an operator node. Now you see that a cube has been added to the scene and in the attributes manager you also see that with the primitive operator you can choose the primitive type. So instead of a cube you can also use a sphere here and it will immediately adjust. The next thing you might have noticed is that there is no entry here in the object manager that shows you that there is a new sphere in the scene. This is by design, we didn't want to mix those two systems up. However, you might want to have a small indicator here in the objects manager that you're using scene nodes and I would just create a null and just rename it to scene nodes and this way you know that you're using scene nodes in this scene. Another thing that is important to know is that scene nodes are always executed last in the execution order of a scene and this also means that you can import objects from the object manager into the scene node system but not the other way around. Okay, now let's have a look at the upstream. If we unfold this, you can see that there is only geometry information coming with the sphere here. And if we select that node, you can see that we can set up everything regarding the sphere itself, but we can for example not move it. In order to move it, we need another operator which is the matrix op. And matrix is basically just a fancy programmer term for position scale and rotation. And this means that we can now move up the sphere using the matrix operator node. If we now unfold the operator output here, you can see that it's not just the geometry anymore, which is contained in the operator output, but now also information about the matrix and a children output here. If we want to add a material to this object here, we need the material operator. So let's just add this to the operator stream. And this material operator is pretty much the same as a material tag in the object system here. So what we can do is just drag and drop a material from the material manager into the material link field here and now you see that the material has been applied. If we have a look at the op stream here you can see that material has been added. And last but not least I want to show you that you can add operators with a setting that you are searching for. So let's for example search for grid and now you see that the distribution operator shows up and it says grid here and once I add this to the scene you can see that the distribution type in the distribution operator has already been set to grid. Now let's bring down the count here to 5 by 5 by 5 and let's bring up the offset to 20 by 20 by 20 and in the primitive op let's bring down the radius of the sphere to let's say 10 and let's also bring down the whole object here by using the matrix op and let's set the Y position to 10. And this is pretty much the basic workflow that you need to know when you want to get started with C notes. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment and subscribe.